Hallelujah. The Lord said tonight shall mark the end. Come on, get me this thing. Get me the other microphone. He said tonight shall mark the end of that pain in your life. Somebody say amen. Remove it from the lights. Oh, yeah, come and plug this one. Somebody say amen. God is saying that this night is going to give you an encounter. That plug for that one. The Lord Almighty is here tonight to give you an encounter. An encounter that you can never forget in your hurry. And that encounter is an encounter of divine settlement. But before we go into what the Lord wants to do tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for the day one of this program, for the day two, for the day three, for the day four, be today. Appreciate you for his strength upon you to pray before his presence. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate your father. Shout the name of Jesus once and begin to thank him. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, my father, we have come again before you to appreciate you for what you have been doing in our midst from the day one of this program to this present time. Lord, we cannot thank you enough. Amen. We cannot thank you enough. Adonai, we cannot thank you enough. The Prince of Peace, receive the glory. Receive the honor. Receive the adoration. For if he has not been you who has been on our side, our enemies will have destroyed us. Our enemies will have messed up our stay in your presence. But praise be to you, our Father, who have not given us as a prey to the teeth of our enemies. Lord, we have come with a heart full of gratitude tonight to say we are super grateful. Lord, we are super grateful. 
Thank you for the day one of this program. Thank you for the day two. Thank you for the day three. And thank you, Father, for today being the form of this program. Thank you for what you did in the morning sessions. Thank you for what you did in the night sessions. Lord, we cannot take it for granted. You have returned to say we are grateful. You have returned to say we are super grateful. Receive you, Lord, all the glory. Receive you, Lord, all the honor. Receive you, Lord, all the adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, tonight we are going to cry out to God and say, Father, as I pray tonight, settle my case and break an end to this situation of negativity in my life. Lord, as I pray tonight, settle my case and break an end to this sickness in my life. Lord, as I pray tonight, settle my case and break an end to this negativity in every department of my life. I don't know what you need God's healing and restoration upon. Some of you may need God's physical healing in your body. Some of you, what you need is emotional healing. Some of you, what you need is spiritual healing. Your spirit man is under demonic attack. You need God to heal your spirit man. To some of you, what you need is healing upon your business. To some of you, what you need is healing upon your finance. To some of you, you have been haunted in your past. And you have been finding it difficult to let go of your past pains. You need healing of those hurts of your past. You need healing from those molestations that went forth in your past. Some of you, you are still believing your love wrong. You need God to console you and to heal you of that death, of that loss. I want you to lift up your mercy, Father, tonight, as I pray before your presence, settle this my matter. Heal me and restore me. Settle this my matter. Heal me and restore me. Settle this my case. Heal me and restore me. Lift up your voice, shout the name of Jesus once, and begin to pray that prayer. Number one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O Lord my Father, I have come before your presence this night, O Lord, for your divine touch for healing and restoration. Father, heal my marriage. Father, heal my ministry. Father, heal my finance. Father, heal my profession. Father, heal my destiny. I don't know what to need healing over. Ask God for emotional healing. Ask God for healing in your marriage. Open your mouth and speak to your father. Say, Lord, you have never cast away any man or woman that comes to you for help. Therefore, Father, tonight, do not cast me away from your presence. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not cast me away from your presence. Intervene with healing for me tonight. Intervene with healing for my children tonight. Intervene with healing for my husband tonight. Lord, heal us, O oh Lord, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Any health challenge, any physical health issue, any financial issue, any career issue, heal us tonight, O oh Lord, and settle us. Heal and restore us tonight. Heal and restore us tonight. To some of you, what you need is God's touch upon your marriage. God's touch of restoration. Say, Lord, as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ tonight. Hey, touch my marriage. Jehovah, touch my marriage. Jehovah, touch my ministry. Jehovah, touch every dead area of my life. The same way you touch the dry bone and the situation of the dry bone changed. Father, touch my case tonight with your hand of healing, with your hand of deliverance, with your hand of restoration. Let there be a massive restoration of everything I have lost in the secret, of everything I have lost maritime, of everything I have lost health-wise. Lord, heal me. I come for an encounter that I will never forget in the home. Jehovah, do not allow me to go empty-handed. Do not allow me to go the same way I have come. Do something new in my life tonight. May my waiting before your presence for these five days never be in vain. May I go back with my divine settlement. That God has settled men and women. Hey, Jehovah, settle me tonight. When, when, when Jacob encountered you, I 
and he said you will never let you go unless you settle him. Jehovah, you did not, you did not abandon Jacob's request. You appeared and responded to his request. When Jabez came to you crying for settlement, Father, you did not allow Jabez to go without settlement. Jehovah, you settled Jabez. You rolled away the cause of his mother that was hanging upon his life. And you gave him back blessings. You gave him back his, his dignity. You restored him. And Father, tonight I come for divine restoration. I do not restore me. The Prince of Peace restore me. Elohim, heal me. Child of God, I hope you are praying. Speak to God about the thing that you need him over. Say, Father, don't allow me to go. We can receive this healing from you. Father, don't allow me to go. We can receive this deliverance from you. Father, don't allow me to go. We can receive this intervention from you. Father, settle me tonight. And let my settlement be forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, one of the reasons why most of us have not gotten any result at the altar of prayer since we have been praying about that situation is because we lack faith. I'm not talking about the faith that is triggered by somebody pushing you into his No. I'm talking about that kind of faith that generated the testimony of the woman with an issue of blood. That faith that can make Jesus to stand still over your matter. That kind of that kind of um, faith that can make Jesus to stand still over your matter is what you need tonight. Child of God, I believe you are here on this mountain with enough faith. Because without faith, the Bible said it is impossible to please the Lord. Hallelujah. He said without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. Talk more of receiving anything good from God. I don't know whom God is speaking about. You need to step up your faith. If actually you want that miracle to happen. The Bible is speaking in the book of Mark chapter 5. From verses 25 to 34. It told us about this woman of the issue of blood this woman spent all her earnings in in the hands of medical personnel she went from hospital to hospital hoping to encounter change over her matter hoping to encounter change over her situation but this woman did not receive any change of story the Bible said in that scripture that she spent all her earnings moving from hospital to hospital to make her matter worse. Her relatives abandoned her. Her friends abandoned her. Waiting to hear news about when she would die. Probably so they can call for her burial. But the Lord Almighty intervened in her case. The Lord Almighty intervened when this woman stirred up her faith. Child of God, I don't know who has given up on you that you can be healed of that matter. It can be your husband, it can be your mother that used to take care of you that you just say, Why don't you cause God and die? Job went through a situation in his life that even his own wife told him and said, Oh God, are you still keeping to your integrity? Why can't you cause God and just die and go and rest? Do you know what it means for a woman to tell the husband to just die so that everybody can rest? That was the case of Job. The woman of an issue of blood saw herself in a similar condition. She saw herself in a terrible situation where everybody abandoned her. But the woman did not abandon herself. The woman did not allow the expectations of those that want her to die in that condition to come to pass upon her. She stepped up her faith and she said, If only I can touch, if I can use my last strength and press and touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made whole. 
I know I will be healed. I know I will be restored. And the Bible said that this woman pressed. This woman pressed. This woman pressed until she was able to get what she's looking for. I don't know what you are looking for from God. I don't know the testimony you desire. I don't know the turn around you desire. But child of God, if you can actually have faith like that of the that woman of issue of blood, please let me turn up the, the song, please. Uncle. Is disturbing what I'm doing. Thank you. The woman said, If only I can touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made whole. And that faithful day, she managed to use her last strength. To touch the Lord. And as soon as she touched Jesus. In the midst of the crowd. She was made whole. I don't know what your challenge is. Jesus is requesting of you tonight. To release your faith. Maybe you need God to restore you. Financially. You need God to restore your marriage. And maybe every effort you are putting out proven abortive you have tried doing this one it did not work you have tried doing this one it did not work you have tried doing this one it did not work can you release your faith tonight and believe that with God tonight that everything can actually work out for your good God is saying to you and I tonight if you can believe there will be a performance if you can believe the Lord will show himself mighty if you can believe the Lord will turn your situation around. I don't know how long you have been in that condition. The woman with the issue of blood was in that condition for 12 years. No helper. No brother. No sister. Even the church that she was supposed to go to. Because she is a woman that is emitting blood. That banned her from entering the church. They banned her. You cannot enter because you are a woman. You are, you are in your menstruation for 12 years. If you are a woman here, you understand what it means for a woman to be in her menstrual cycle for 12 good years. Non-stop. This was the case of that woman. But that day, she did not wait for God to touch her. She made up her mind that she is going to stir up her faith. And she's going to press and go and touch God. And she said that if she can try with her last strength and press and touch only by the hem of his garment, that she's going to be made whole. And that day, her faith made her whole. Her faith made her whole. I don't know, beloved, what you are going through. But God is requesting for your faith to be released tonight. He's asking you and I, do you believe? Do you believe in this God you are calling for help? Do you believe in this God you have come to seek tonight? Do you believe in his ability to change your situation? Do you believe in his ability to turn everything around for your good? And he said, if only you can believe tonight, you shall be settled. He said, if only you can believe tonight, you shall be settled in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know your situation. But I want to give you another opportunity to present it to God. And say, Jesus tonight, forgive me for my lack of faith. If I have actually not released my faith enough to receive my miracle, forgive me and help my own belief tonight. The same way you visited with the woman with the issue of blood. Visit me tonight and settle me. Visit me tonight and settle me. Lift up your voice. Shout the name of Jesus Christ once. And begin to pray that prayer. Number one. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, as I begin to pray tonight. Lord, forgive me for my lack of faith. 
and what I've been praying about all these years. Forgive me, Lord, for my statements that portray that I don't have faith in you. Tonight, Jesus, I've come to you again. I request that you, God, will help my own belief and settle me tonight. Help my own belief and settle me tonight. A particular man came to Jesus and he said, Do you believe? The man said, I believe, but help my own belief. And that day, Jesus helped his own belief and healed him. Said Jesus tonight, help my own belief and settle my case tonight. I am tired of this condition. I am tired of these struggles. I am tired of this case. I am tired of moving in this cycle for years. I am tired of this mess in my life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as I pray tonight, answer me and settle me. 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 You may not have any man to help you. You may not have any woman to help you. The man at the pool of Bethesda said, I don't have a man. Because I know if I have a man, this opportunity of healing will not be passing me by. This opportunity of deliverance will not be passing me by. I have been at the pool for 38 years. And there is no change of story for me. Child of God, I don't know how many years you have been in that condition. Say, Jesus Christ, come to my rescue tonight. Come to my rescue tonight. Say to me tonight, I am tired of where I am. I need a change of story. I need a change of story. Heal my finances. Heal my body. Heal my ministry. Heal my marriage. Heal my destiny. I don't know what Jesus needs to heal in your life. Open your mouth and speak to him tonight. Say, Jesus, settle me and heal me. Settle me and heal me. Restore everything that needs to be restored. Anything I've lost in life that needs to be restored. Father, restore. Eshadai, restore. Mayake tuzum and negetosha. Kampanyana masuta la barata. Ekepene gede debedea. Radiana makatoshe peata. Open your mouth and pray for restoration. Say, Jesus, restore me. Restore me. I refuse to continue to manifest. The evil desires and expectations of my enemies. I refuse to be what my enemies want me to be in this life. I refuse to manifest the expectations upon my life. Jesus, I am here before you. Please show me mercy tonight. Show me mercy. Heal my womb. Heal my body. Heal my soul. Heal every aspect of my life. Anywhere check them now, Balia. Anywhere we will be brought. Anywhere may you own an door. Father, do something new. Change my story and do something new, Lord. Do something new, Lord. Do something new, Lord. Do something new, Lord. You said in your word in Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse fourteen. He said, "Heal me, and I shall be healed." That's what Jeremiah said. In his affliction, he said, God, heal me, and I shall be healed. Deliver me, and I shall be delivered. Heal me, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. When he made me, save me, and I shall be saved. And do not heal me, and I shall be healed. It's only God that can heal you. It's only God that can heal you, and you'll be sure of healing. Doctors know that they are caretakers. They cannot hear heal you. It is only God that can heal. Say, anyway, heal me tonight. My eyes is upon you. I am the neighbor. No. My hope is on you, Lord. My trust and my confidence is on you. Don't allow me to go the same way I've come. Anyway, Chetem Nabalia. Father, remember me tonight. Heal me, Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus Christ's most precious name, we pray. I hear that I had Jesus. Child of God, we are still praying. When I was praying for this meeting, the Lord showed me another scripture in Job 28, 22 28. This was death and destruction. 
speaking in that voice. He said, we have heard about the news about her. We have heard about the news about him. Who is announcing you to the spirit of death? Who has been announcing your business to destruction? Who is making mention of you to death and destruction? Who has given you an appointment with death? Who has given your organ appointment for destruction? You are going to pray and say, Father, anybody at all that is moving around with my name from altar to altar to bring death upon me, to bring destruction upon any organ in my body, to bring destruction upon my marriage, upon my finances, upon my destiny. That person announcing me from altars to altars for evil, Lord. As I pray tonight, arise, oh God, as the Lord who vengeance belongs to and judge that enemy tonight with that death and destruction. Haman prepared the gallow to destroy Mordecai with, but he ended up being the one that was hanged on the gallow. Who is digging a pit of death for your life? Who is actually planning to make you blind forever? Who wants you to go blind? Who wants you to pack up from that business? Who wants you to be hospitalized? Who is announcing you to destruction? Who is announcing you to sickness? Who is announcing your name? To untimely death. To addiction of any sort. Pray and say, Father, tonight, as I begin to pray, that person that is calling my name at altars and invoking the spirit of death, the spirit of madness, the spirit of destruction, the spirit of any kind, blindness upon my life. Any appointment they have given to this spirit against my life, let that appointment be disappointed tonight. Let that evil load that they have released after me return back to sender and destroy the sender. Let that evil arrow return back to sender and destroy the sender. Let that attack return back to sender and destroy the sender. Father, tonight, attack my attackers. Open your mouth and shout the name of Jesus once and begin to fire the prayer. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord, my Father, arise tonight. Attack my attackers. Defend my cause. Fight for me, Jehovah. Anybody at all calling my name before the orders of death, before the orders of destruction, any appointment they are giving to spirit of madness, the great the spirit of deformity, the spirit of blindness against my life. Let that appointment be disappointed now. Let that evil arrow of the enemies fire at me to bring them forth, to bring destruction, to bring retardation, to bring struggles upon my life. But fire upon the sender now. Let that arrow but fire upon the sender now. Let that arrow but fire upon the sender now, oh, mass of evil load, carry back your load, be hanged upon your evil gallows that are prepared for my life. Open your mouth and pray. Arrows of wickedness, arrows of affliction, wherever you are being fired from, I return you back to sender, 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 back to sender. Any wakulia, alakulia, let the heaven arise. Wherever they have planted the arrow, let the arrow return back to sender. Let the afflicted become the afflicted. Let my attacker be attacked by the minutes right now. Open your mouth and pray. He can pan and katosha. Anybody at all standing on witchcraft, standing on wizardry, with spells, with sham, to fire evil against me, against this ministry, against my health, against my marriage. Evil arrow. To your sender, return the evil back to sender. Return the evil back to sender. The Bible said in Isaiah 7 7 that it shall not stand, it will not come to pass. Child of God, declare and declare, I will not go blind. It shall not stand, it will not come to pass. I will not be crippled by the enemies. It shall not stand, it will not come to pass. I will not run mad. It shall not stand. It will not come to pass. Whatever they have decreed, whatever they have enchanted, whatever they have bewitched me with, every of the spell, every of the wizardry, every of the witchcraft, back to sender. Return that evil back to sender. I shall not be a candidate of the evil affliction. I shall not 
be a victim of their wickedness wherever they are sent from from any kingdom of darkness from the marine from the aquatic kingdom whomever has sent them from any altar against me against this ministry let the judgment of god pursue after them now let the anger of the presence of god locate them now with death and strike them dead anyway we're not coaching my hand Anyway, we're not to my Arrows of wickedness. Arrows of evil water. Against my health. Against my marriage. So bring untimely death. So bring blindness. So bring retardation. Back to sender. The Bible says it is only what I allow. That shall be allowed here on earth. Whatever I disallow. Shall no more work against me. Whomever I have sent them. Let whatever I have come with. Return back with them and destroy them. Hey, I'm a caparado bashayata. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven. Father, I pray for your children. I don't know who I am praying for. The Lord said, they send an arrow. The Lord said, they send an attack. I don't know who is pursuing after you. Standing on witchcraft. Standing on wizardry. Standing on occultism. Standing on any diabolic power of any sort. Any agent of darkness. Sent from the marine kingdom. Sent from the occultic kingdom. To come and attack you. Even right here. Jehovah, as I pray for them right now. Let the attacker become the attack. Let the attacker become the attacked let the evil arrow return back to sender and destroy the sender right now let the evil arrow return back to sender and destroy the sender right now let the evil arrow return back to sender and destroy the sender right now in the name of jesus that appointment that they have given to the spirit of death over your health over your eyes over your leg to kill your leg to destroy your eyes tonight as your amen will thunder that appointment i command terminated i command terminated let that appointment that have released against you enter a reversal and become a fresh appointment upon the sender in the name of jesus christ you will not go blind you will not die untimely you will live to take care of yourself, your children, your household. Whomever that wants to be dead, let a person die before you. Let a person die before you. May you attend the burial ceremony of that person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, we are still praying. <laughs> hey, I just the laugh. I just allow you are going to pray and say father anybody attacking me through dreams any attack i receive from the dream that is actually behind what i am suffering now i shared with you people in the afternoon when mama came about how i lost that child and how somebody came in the dream and injected me at the back and disappeared and that was the beginning of the major attack that killed the child in my womb i don't know who is injecting you in the dream i don't know who is feeding you through dreams and the more you eat their demonic food the more the sickness gets worse you are going to pray and say father that demonic caterer that person attacking me using dreams that person coming to make love with you in the dream. And the more they sleep with you in the dream, the more they make your problem worse. Anybody practicing witchcraft of my life through dreams. Anybody injecting me in the dream. Giving me drugs in the dream. Giving me food in the dream. Giving me drinks in the dream. Giving me work in the dream. Giving me anything in the dream. And as they do this, they poison me and they make my situation worse. Lord, as I pray this hour, bring 
bring an end to that attack in the dream and destroy the attacker bring an end to that attack through dreams and destroy the attacker some of you whenever they want to make love with you in the dream your relationship will just, will just scatter your marriage plan will scatter whenever you see that woman that man in your dream something strange must happen who is that person messing up your life who is that person messing up all your efforts to be free from that condition you are going to pray and say father anybody attacking me through dreams as i pray tonight judge them with death and destruction are you ready to pray you are going to shout the name of jesus two times and you are going to begin to pray that prayer number one jesus christ of nazareth jesus christ of nazareth oh lord my father anybody at all feeding your children with bewitched food bewitched drink anybody injecting them through drinks anybody giving them medications drugs through drinks in order to make their cases ah on the patalism in order to make their case unsolvable in order to strengthen their matter from receiving solution Jehovah whoever is attacking their lives through dreams any attacker behind their matter that is ministering destruction upon them using drinks as to pray in agreement tonight my father my maker arise in your power and judge that enemy now with death any dream attacker of your children's life any dream attacker of their marriages any dream attacker of their health any dream attacker of their businesses any dream attacker of their careers whomever is attacking them jehovah tonight oppression no mercy arise with your sword of war with your angels of war locate the enemy minister judgment upon the enemy right now let their affliction whether human or spirit be judged tonight with death let their affliction whether human or spirit be judged tonight with death let their affliction whether human or spirit be judged right now with death open your mouth and pray anywhere coolie attack the attackers anyone attacking the two dreams two food in the dream two flogging them in the dream through the use of animals in the dream anybody sending snake after them in the dream anybody sending dogs anybody afflicting this one through dreams enough is enough arise oh lord and let the enemies be judged right now with death let that evil man let that evil woman attacking them with death through dreams be judged those of them that are pursuing with the spirit of dead people any astral projector invoking their dead relatives to attack them through dreams anybody at all invoking the spirit of the dead after this was you are a liar not as you pray tonight judge that enemy with death let those enemies be destroyed let those enemies be destroyed arise my father and vindicate your children arise my father and speak for them arise my father and cause the effort never to be wasted these days these enemies have been busy wasting their effort all these years lord arise and fight for your children fight for them lord and let the attacker be church tonight in the name of jesus christ lift up your hands to heaven i don't know who is attacking your child of god through dreams who is that person releasing spiritual animals to pursue after you who is wearing that mask who is coming like a godo who is coming like a masquerade to pursue you and to flog you in the dream i don't know who your enemy is I don't know who your attacker is but tonight i deploy the angels of war to your dream world if this enemy try you again tonight let these angels kill your attacker destroy your attacker and give you your total liberty let your visual news of your attacker be announced in the name of 
Jesus Christ. Every multitude of food that I have given you in a dream, every evil plantation that the enemies have planted into your system through that dream attack, as so amen with thunder now, let the blood of Jesus Christ enter your spirit, enter your body, enter your soul, and begin to flush out of you that evil deposit right now. Let the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet wash you right now, cleanse you right now, inside out of every of those deposits and make you whole again and make you clean again and heal you right now and settle you and restore you in the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, we are still praying. We are going to pray against every witchcraft verdict and judgment issued from anywhere against your life. When witches gather against a person, they release their judgment. How we give you more give and more. They can call you in the name of the spirit and judge you. Tonight we are going to judge that witch. And we are going to ask the Lord to judge that witch with death for us. Are you ready? Are you ready? You are going to shout the name of Jesus once. And you are going to pray and say, Father, every witchcraft verdict, every witchcraft declarations, every witchcraft judgment, every witchcraft causes issued from anywhere against my health, against my healing, Against my restoration, against my destiny, against my getting married, against my getting a job, against my getting my visa, against my travel. Lord, as I pray tonight, let that verdict be reversed now. Let that verdict be reversed now. Let the decree die by fire. The Bible said that the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they have life. Beloved, walls have a spirit. They have life in them. When they are spoken over a man, they begin to manifest negativities upon the man. You are going to pray and say, Father, tonight I refuse to continue to dwell under the declarations and the verdicts of the enemies over me. Therefore, tonight, every which can verdict, every which can decrease of my enemies that is working against my healing, that is working against drugs that I take. Some of you, you are bought all manner of drugs concerning that sickness. And it's not working. It's not because the doctors did not give you the right drugs. No. It's because there is a vengeance over you. That no amount of medicine will be able to deliver you from that problem. Are you hearing me? When an enemy make a decree. When they finish their spiritual work on your head. And they decree and say that no pastor can pay you out. Child of God, that decree will work if you don't reverse it. You can move from one level to level. You can move from pastor to pastor. From prophet to prophet and nothing happens. It's not the fault of the prophet. It's because there is a vent and a judgment released on your head that is stopping that evil. That, that testimony from happening. I want you to shout the name of Jesus once. And you begin to pray and say, Father, every negative verdict of my enemies, every evil verdict, evil judgment of theirs, evil causes that they have released upon my life, that is stopping my healing, that is stopping my getting married, that is stopping my restoration, that is stopping my business progress. Lord, as I pray tonight, reverse that verdict back to center. Judge that man, that woman, that is decreeing those causes upon my life. Lift up your voice. Shout the name of Jesus once. And begin to pray that prayer. Number one. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord my Father. As I pray tonight. Every which can vengeance. Every vengeance of an occultic man. Vengeance of witches and wizards. Vengeance of astral projectors. Vengeance of evil men and women. Over my life. Over my marriage. That is working against peace. That is working against healing. That is working against deliverance. That is working against answers to prayers. 
that verdict of the enemies that says that I will not get married, that I will not stay married, that I will not prosper, that I will not advance in this city, in this land. You are liars. Who is it that saith the word and it come to pass when the Lord has not spoken? Therefore, this evil verdict that is not of the Lord, I have brought you tonight. Cease from oppressing in my life. Be reversed right now. Be reversed right now. Be reversed right now. Back upon your sender. Back upon your sender. Back upon your sender. I care not to know whom the wish is, whom the wizard is. That have made that declaration. That have released that cause. That have released that verdict. That have released that judgment. Whomever is involved is the person from my family. Is it from my husband family? From my maternal partner home. Wherever they are coming from. Father, tonight as I pray, let the verdict be fire on the head. Let the decrease against my rising, against my healing, against this ministry, burn fire, be reversed, be aborted. It shall not stand. It will not come to pass upon me and my family. Open your mouth and pray. Let go reverse eh? that judgment they have made over me. Every judgment they made at any altar that I'm going to be blind, that I'm going to be lame, that I'm going to be paralyzed, that I'm going to be rejected by my loved ones. Father, I say never. I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse it. Evil vengeance of my enemies over my life and destiny. Be reversed right now. Be aborted right now by the power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Every judgment that released upon my marriage in the name of the spirit at any altar at any cover I reverse you tonight. You shall not stand. You shall not come to pass. You shall not stand. You shall not come to pass upon my life. Upon my destiny, you will not want to stop my healing. You will not want to stop my deliverance. I am being settled tonight. 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 That verdict will no more work. It will no more work upon me. It will no more work upon my marriage. It will no more work upon my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. In Jesus Christ's most precious name, we pray. Lift up your hands to heaven. I don't know the judgment that your enemies have released upon you in the realm of the spirit. I don't know the altars they erected to release that judgment upon you. I cannot know how many causes, how many decrees and declarations that they made in the course of doing that evil. But as your enemy will turn down now, every which can verdict, every verdict of your enemies at their altar, every verdict they made in the day or in the night that is working against the drug you are taking, working in your life, every verdict they have given over you that says you will go blind, that says you will be rejected, that says you will not find favor, that says you will not prosper, that said you will not marry. That said you will not conceive. I care not to know what they said. But as your amen will turn down. Let that evil verdict be reversed right now. Over your life. Over your marriage. Over your ministry. Over your health. Be healed. Be restored. Be healed. Be restored. In the name of Jesus. I don't know the verdict that is working against your healing. I don't know the verdict that is working against your getting married. I don't know the verdict that is working against your marital restoration. Who is it that says the thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not spoken? As long as that word is contrary to the plan and the purpose of God for your life, tonight I pray for you. Let the declarers of that evil from tonight begin to harvest their evil decrees against you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let whatever they say that will happen to you backfire on them and begin to happen upon their own lives, upon their own business, 
upon their own health, upon their own marriage, upon their own profession, upon their own destiny. In the name of Jesus! From today henceforth, anybody that will rise up at any altar, with any shine, with your picture, anybody that will go to load themselves with any manner of demonism and they return back hoping to decree evil against you as the day to open their mouths let the angel of the presence of God strike them dead instantly and let them become dead bodies in the name of Jesus Christ child of God we are still praying you are going to pray and say father Whatever I have lost all these years in this condition. Whatever I have lost in this life because of sickness upon sickness. Lord, as you heal me tonight, restore back to me all that I have lost. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Lord, as you heal me tonight, as you settle me tonight, as you restore me tonight, Father, restore all my losses. Restore all the lost organs. Restore all the lost organs in my body. Every ligament that is weak, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, every vein that has been damaged in the course of this my present condition, thou God that healeth. I want to show you a scripture. In Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 14, Jeremiah said, me and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Hallelujah. If the Lord doesn't heal you, nobody can heal you. Apostle Amaka is not a healer. It is only God that heals. And I want you now to say, Lord, tonight, heal me and restore every damaged organ in my body. You see, whenever the enemy starts attacking people's health, one of the things that happen is that I remember I remember when, when my daddy was my my father was attacked. He was attacked outwise. And how was he attacked? I, I feel led to share this. He went for lab tests. He was having this sharp pain uh, below his um, abdomen or dead about. And he went for lab tests. And they told him that he has kidney problem. Hallelujah. They told him that he had kidney problem. And they gave him medications to go and begin to take. But my eyes shocking, my father never had that sickness. We don't know whom they actually did the, the tests together. Maybe somebody else came for the same thing. And they exchanged my father's medical report with that person's own and then my father came back anytime he takes that medication for kidney my father will faint he will not get himself again but he doesn't have any alternative than to keep taking it and the more my father take those medications the more the thing destroy his organ and one day he decided to go to another hospital for another medical checkup, and on getting there, the doctor Diana asked him, "What exactly did you say was wrong with you?" My father said that he was diagnosed with kidney issue. The doctor said, "No, you don't have any kidney issue." My father said, "No, for the past few months, I have been taking kidney drugs." He said, "You don't have kidney issue. Who diagnosed you that evil? Was the person paid?" Or was the person making mistakes? And from that day, my father stopped taking those drugs. That was when he began to recover. But the drugs have made a lot of damages in his system. Hallelujah. So the new doctor now have to start doing a work. He start doing a healing work on those things. So I give him medications that will help him to heal some of the wounds. That he has already sustained inside his system because he was taking a medication that is not meant for him. Why am I sharing this with you? I'm sharing this with you because 
Some people that are praying for healing today did not have the sickness they are going through. And when you want God to heal you, you need to ask God to also heal the wounds you have sustained in the course of that sickness. Hallelujah. I don't know if there is anybody that has that understand what I'm saying. I want to also show you another scripture. In Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. Jeremiah said, But I will restore you to health. This was God speaking to Jeremiah. He said, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declared the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion, for whom no one cares. Hallelujah. God is saying here that He will not just restore you. He will not just restore your health, but He's going to heal your wound. He said, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. And in that same Jeremiah 17, 14, he said, Jeremiah was crying and said, heal me and I shall be healed. 